Nicolette here. I'm a Google Workspace specialist focused on public sector. And today we will be discussing how to sign up for a Google Workspace trial. So now that you've understand a little bit more about the security features that are included in an Enterprise Plus license, psst, check out our earlier videos if you haven't seen them yet. You might be wondering how you can test this out. Well, we have the answer for you. You can sign up for a trial using the link below. A Google Workspace trial is going to allow you to test out certain Google Workspace services for a limited time. In no way will you have to purchase Google Workspace after your trial period, nor will the trial automatically convert to a paid Workspace instance. If you would like to extend your trial period, go ahead and reach out to us. Now there are two options to sign up for a trial. You can sign up online, which I'll walk you through today, or you can contact a licensed reseller who will walk you through setting up a trial instance. And if you choose, help move you to an enterprise paid version of Google Workspace. So let's begin by setting up an online trial via the Google Workspace website. We're gonna go ahead and start on the website here. I'm gonna bring your gaze to the upper left corner where you see solutions. We'll go ahead and click on solutions. Now to sign up for an online trial, we are gonna choose Workspace for Business. Since we are in government, we always recommend that our government clients sign up for a Google Workspace Enterprise trial and use the enterprise licenses. With the Google Workspace Enterprise trial, please use the link below to sign up with one of our resellers. They'll shepherd you through the process and make sure that your trial is as smooth as possible. And again, if you decide to move forward with Google Workspace, which we hope you do, they'll shepherd you through that process also. But for today, we'll go ahead and sign up for a Google Workspace business trial. Once I click on Google Workspace business, the first option we'll have is the giant blue get started button. From here, we'll fill out our business details. So I'll type in my business name. I'll let Google know how large my business is and the region that I'm located. In the lower left, I'll choose that blue next button and we'll fill out our contact info. Does our business have a domain? Now, if you do not have a domain or you would like to set up a new domain, you can go ahead and say, no, I need one. That will make sure that you sign up for a Google domain while setting up your workspace trial. I already have a domain, so I'll choose yes, I have one I can use and I'll enter my domain. In the lower left, we'll choose that blue next button and Google's gonna verify my domain. Once it's verified, we'll go ahead and select again that blue next button in the lower left. The next option says educate your users. So if I select OK here, what this is going to do is it will send my users emails on how to use the platform. So I don't have to worry about any onboarding. For now, I'm going to go ahead and say no thanks. Now I'm going to set up my credentials. So my login or username and my password. I'll check the box for reCAPTCHA that says I'm not a robot and I'll agree and continue. We'll go ahead and say next. We would like the flex plan. And we'll type in our billing information. Now, you are not gonna be billed for the 14 days and you can cancel at any time. So I'll go ahead and add in my address. Once we have our credit card information in, we'll say agree and continue. Now that we've set up our workspace trial, we'll go ahead and choose the blue continue to next step button. From here, we'll be taken to the Google Admin Console where we can start setting up our workspace trial. Don't forget, if you wanna be shepherded through this process, Go ahead and use the link below to reach out to one of our licensed resellers. Thanks for joining today and be sure to check out the description below for helpful links. Want to start exploring the end user experience? Stay tuned for our next video on the new Gmail UI and don't forget to subscribe to the Google Workspace YouTube channel for more updates.